Oh, here we ah. go. Yes. I was hoping for a new outfit, but whatever. On the Duchess. Mm. Wow. Friends, I bid you welcome. Ooh. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow See me to introduce on the side of his head. our new guests. Hmm. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. This is totally so, historical. Let us clue. begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? No. Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the and King's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself. Very well. I wonder if they change and the killer every time you play. Poorly. The French Revolution gets uh, kind of like with headaches. Clue. Oh, I understand. There's a killer? I shall feel I better assume. too as soon as the situation is settled. If by like if you're saying it's Christ like clue. emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, oh I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> She really does remind Isn't me of that one. Uh, Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Uh -huh. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort <laughs> into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> she, she looks. Wait, wait! Fire! Ah! What? What? Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Click the thing. It's the first time uh -huh. I've ever seen her so moved. She's like she literally like fainting. Right hard shell. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! Well, it's that corset. You can barely breathe. You know. No, her. Oh, she's, she's vulnerable back. to psychology. Yes. Thank you. No, but she has no back, so really, absence, like, but here I am again. there's no backing on it, so she's fine. Uh, 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 yeah, she... My lord, I only know the prestige of your name. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur... Louis Moras de Richet. Mm. <laughs> de Richet. De Richet. A name <laughs> with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? That's the only one we got. I am just a simple French citizen. <laughs> really? Oh, you seem nothing like a commoner. <laughs> Especially compared to that wretch over there sharing our meat. Rude. He just ate nothing on his fork. <laughs> Have you pretend. any information on this Napoleon? What do you want to know? Why not? He's certainly well connected and in high places. Surprising. No one appears to know him. Oh, is this? Oh, yeah, this is no before. No one knows me, and yet here I am. Mm -hmm. Quite so. Of course. He's pulling him Bonaparte. He needs to be picture. It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Of course. I like how they didn't try to make him overly short, because that's historically inaccurate. He was actually average for the time. 
Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order. Isn't he like five six? Five seven ish, five eight. Stay composed. But that was like average for I'm that time period. You know and they're probably exaggerated though. Canvas, yeah. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Hmm. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. Totally! I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Oh no, well, of course. Stop. Okay. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. What? Uh. I don't know. I don't what? know? What? I don't, what? Uh. I don't know. Maybe you ought to speak to my mother. Oh. What a pity. I was hoping you would be up to the challenge. Oh, fuck. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. I don't even care about Given France. the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I don't know. I think it's this. No. Let the people. It would need a counter revolution. What was the thing that he believed? I don't know. No, he wanted to take good, over. But it gave birth to a monster. We must overthrow the new system in place. Yay! Ah, I think right. that went along with his ideals. Yeah. That's why I was like. I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. Because he wanted I to be like an emperor. Thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Thank you. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. We did it. <laughs> My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer. And you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time we have butterflies like everywhere me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation Where? of the arrival of They're our in the background. Guest. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has See? a few oh, yeah. projects to propose. And they're monarch butterflies but that they're not even native to this and area. Every one of us has always benefited from <laughs> the last well, time butterflies I came are often to symbolic place, lord mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the united butterfly States. effect and it is mm -hmm. imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us there's like more and more appearing we are here among like-minded people so let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present so I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. So I wonder, like, they, they clearly want us to notice all the butterflies. Yeah. But I'm wondering, do they want us to notice that they're not, that they're monarch butterflies? Wait. Ooh, we did a good job. But I dir dirtied one part? Whatever. Well, we, 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 oh, we could have searched Napoleon's room. Oh! But it's an alternate path, not... Interesting. I, I wonder if you were only allowed to search one room and it's like... Whichever one you come across first. I think that's it. I'm glad we went with what we did, though. Yeah. So I was saying that I think this is, like, Clue, not because I think there's a murderer, but more because it's like, oh, you have your, like, mysterious host and dinner party and, like, get to know all the guests. And All right, let's see if we can level up some of these. Do we... 
fun. I just wanted to see. We can put points into these. Okay. If we want. So what are some of the other... Maybe we should do... Or do you want to, like, put, like, one in each, or... We have eight points available. Shit. Wow. We, we probably should have been leveling stuff up. No, I think we just got a lot this level, because, see, we unlocked this, and it unlocked a second level. Mm. But let's, let's focus on our skills, because I don't want to diversify too much, and then, like, later in the game, you're like... Like, we can't do anything, yeah. because our actual skills aren't very strong. Uh, let's, let's go with some logic, too. Whoop. Excuse you. I think we got it. I just leveled up everything. Cool. Except for hey buddy. agility. What's hey, are you okay? He's you feeling sneezing? Yeah, he's sneezing boogers all over my pants. Well, it's because he loves you, and if you don't love him, if you don't let him do it, that means you don't love him. It's like the dinosaur moment in uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Where she's like, hey! She's like, maybe like, dinosaurs are okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're booger monsters. <laughs> Consult your journal frequently to check for immunities and vulnerabilities. <laughs> All right, let's recap. Like, where is Before this? dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find a place where all eyes size you up. Yeah. All right, so let's pick what manuscript we want. Oh, so we get skill points in certain things by reading certain texts. So I kind of want to do etiquette. I know, because I feel like we missed a bunch of opportunities on that skill. Let's do... We have to assemble all the pages in order to get that one. Conviction. Politics. Politics or etiquette. Because these two we've already... Yep. We already have a skill point in. Etiquette. So you want another etiquette? Well, because we, we weren't able to do stuff because we weren't leveled up enough. Wait, did I... Did you do it? Damn it. Uh... I didn't. Well, Wait, shit. So, so I fucked we... it up. So can we not equip it now? Button is stuck in. We can't. Huh. Fucked it up. I'm sorry. Find the place mentioned. Okay, the place okay, where so all eyes are on you. Is it here or is it like more? This seems symbolic. like it would be a place where all eyes are on you. We what should, if we, we can should... investigate the butterflies? Those are definitely monarch butterflies. So. Yeah. So I wonder, do they want us to notice that those are monarch butterflies, or did they just go put butterflies in there? Because monarch butterflies are native to North America. Yeah, but I, I mean, we're out in the middle of the ocean, so it's also possible that they were brought here. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Do they want us to notice that these butterflies don't belong? Yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. modern butterflies can only eat a certain type of plant and be successful mm -hmm. as um, as caterpillars, which is the milkweed plant or something. And so I would assume it would take a lot of effort to have these particular butterflies here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're just like, put butterflies in. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless... What a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Waldner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mock. Have we met Lord Mock? You will see. Yet? It's no. the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah. I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, Your Eminence. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. 
That pig Do painting not... in the background. It is <laughs> typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. So hold on one second. When you, I think that what you were seeing on Holmes' face, I think it's just a rate of a, a five o'clock shadow because all the male care, like the seemingly male characters, they also have that just dark coloration around mm. their neck. No, 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 it was like spots, like on the back of his neck and stuff. Oh, on the back of his neck? Because there's an angle earlier in the game where he turns his head. You can see him from the back, and it's like spots. Huh. Mm, nah. She's... To tell you the truth, not really. He's in a mansion. I'm not you worried. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but you telling me he's fucking my mom? Me, I have a question for you. Go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? I'm looking for Medusa. Oh. As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. So I read this really interesting interpretation of the Medusa myth. So, trigger warning, rape in mythology. Medusa was, like, raped by Zeus in one of Athena's temples. I think it was Athena, or maybe it was Aphrodite. I'm not sure. But she was trying to run from, from Zeus, and she was asking Athena for help. And the story is, like, Athena was mad for desecrating her shrine, so she cursed Medusa to, like, never, to, like, if anyone who looked at her would turn to stone. Mm-hmm. And, like, I read an interpretation where I was like, she wasn't mad. She was protecting her by making it so Oh, my God. So it's like her, all the fuckboys turned to stone. Yeah. So she she wasn't cursing her. She was giving her protection by, like, making it so nobody else could come near her. Yeah. And, yeah. You know? Yeah. So it wasn't a curse. It was a blessing. Uh, I mean... That was the interpretation. I thought it was an interesting way... Yeah, yeah. ...of seeing the tale. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Hmm. What were you gonna say? I feel it's interesting because much like any, you know, like, religious texts, like, all the stuff about the... Greek and Roman gods and all that mythology stuff, like, it can be interpreted in a multitude of different ways. Like, maybe the original story really was that way, but because a lot of historians for a long time happened to be male, they that's how they saw it, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, she was mad that she was asking for it in a temple. Oh, because... But you, really, cause, it was... Because why wouldn't you see it as, like, you know, nothing good comes from female friendships, she was jealous. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know? When really, maybe the original tale was that well, Medusa ran to Athena, and Athena was like, "Oh, I'll help you because this is happening to you." Well, and we so we tell we we talk about that as if it's kind of a joke, but in it's his, probably true. No, no, no. <laughs> but I'm saying like in historical like, uh, like in like historical studies, I guess it's actually really common for there to be like historical misinterpretations of figures of history mm -hmm. because. If, like, say, if everybody who writes about history is white, then they're maybe not going to portray some other parts of history mm -hmm. correctly, you know? It's kind of like how Mary Magdalene, no one ever actually says she's a prostitute in the Bible, but she's just known to be one. Yeah. Because she, a lot of people are like, she's one of the apostles, but then people didn't really want to have a woman be one of the apostles. Mm -hmm. And um, Lilith was added into the Hebrew texts be in order to like shame women for not wanting to be with their husband. And Lilith turned into a demon that gave birth to all of evil. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> like that it's like stuff like that. And then Jesus goes, I didn't I didn't say any of this. I didn't say that. She what are you guys talk I'm so upset. <laughs> Seersay. Seersay? Is mm -hmm. that what he said? Yep. Seersay. 
I wonder if she was she like a real historical figure that is based off of. Um, I think so. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Stacey's on the Google. She's on it. I'm, the, I'm on the Googs. <laughs> Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. Goddess of magic, or sometimes a nymph, a witch, or enchantress in Greek mythology. By most accounts, she was the daughter of the sun titan Helios and Percy, one of the 3,000 oceanid nymphs. I think that fits her character in A Song of Ice and Fire pretty well. Do you think that... Oh, I didn't even, like... I thought, like, I was wondering, on a side note, if, like, Cersei was named that by Martin, George R. R. Martin, because of the historical significance of that name. Possible. Discourse on the Method by Decau. This book changed the way I looked at the world. There's a lot of butterflies in here. Cersei preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? There's a lot of Cersei paintings in here. Mm -hmm. So, what was she? Goddess of magic and being she, pretty? But she, she's kind of like a nymph. Sometimes got some, a goddess of magic. So, hot, sexy lady, basically. They're all... The lady Hamilton is Cersei. Oh, there's a lot of Cersei in here. Yeah. A Cersei and pigs and ham. Cersei. Cersei, sorry. The Conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Huh. So all the paintings in here depict, you know, a beautiful magic sex lady and then pigs. And then this one's saying that it turned everyone into pigs. Mm -hmm. Would you mind looking up that story? I'll look, click it again. The conversion what? of Ulysses. The conversion of, of Ulysses.